It's uh, March the 18th, 2011. I'm uh, heading just a mile or two from home. It's a really nice day. It's kind of overcast. And weather, the temperature wise, is pretty good. So I want to start getting in shape, hiking shape, along with the uh, running slash walking that I do. And what better day? I just got off work and uh, got my pack, which was already put together. And I'm going to go up to a uh, this is a local school, nowhere special. Put on my pack and do a little hiking. I got my trekking poles. I've got uh, my pack, which is a uh, Jan Sport Carson 80 liter, 4900 cubic inches, external frame backpack. And I'm going to give it a try. I'm not going for a long time. I'm only talking about, you know, maybe an hour at the most of walking. I might go on a little hike tomorrow. If things work out, we'll see. But right now, I just want to give it a try and I'll take a little footage. I'm also going to scout out a little spot that uh, my son and I hiked to a few years ago almost by accident. Uh, maybe it's kind of a funny story, but that was probably my first hike. We went to, we hiked from our house. We went through a little elementary school. It's not far away. It's got a little creek and um, woods behind it. And we hiked from there. Uh, over across, you know, it's a fairly busy street. And we hiked over a big field where they play softball and soccer and all that stuff. And we went from there to across a pretty much major highway that's in our, our city. And they got a footbridge that goes across it. We hiked over it, took a little small kind of like a day pack and uh, got there and brought a little food with us and ate the food and I sat down and it was a play set where we stopped at and I let him play around a bit and we came back and you know I was exhausted I couldn't believe how tired I was you know I'm thinking this place ain't but a couple miles driving from home if that so I went on a site, I can't remember the name of the site, but you could, it was like plotyourcourse.com or something, I don't know, I can't recall, but I went on there and plotted out the site, because it didn't follow streets, so I couldn't really plot out streets or drive it, you know, to kind of get an idea, this was before I had a Garmin uh, running watch. So I plot this course out, and it turned out it was two and a half miles each way, you know five miles. Well, my boy, he's he's ten now, and I bet we did it when he was six. So, he was tired, and I was tired, and I was wondering, why are we so tired? Until I plotted it out, and I figured out it was a five-mile round trip, and it wasn't light terrain. For a little six-year-old kid, you know, it was fairly heavy terrain, and like I said, we retired. So, it kind of was exciting. It was interesting. He found it interesting. And there's a little spot not far from there that I want to look at that he and I might do a little hike to and kind of almost set up a day camp. It's behind a, a school, but there's a wooded area with a river running through it. And it's real secluded. So, I'm going to take a look at that. While I'm out here today, see what it looks like. 
I'll take a little footage and uh, show you what, uh, what it looks like. Well, it's time to trek off the beaten path. And, uh, see where it leads us. It's an old paved trail. I don't know what it is, what it used to be. But, uh, I mean, it's paved, part of it's paved with asphalt. And, uh, it looks kind of you know, dry and pitiful now. Late March, mid March. But uh, in the summertime, it's all lush, pretty, and greenery everywhere. Birds singing and all that good stuff. But uh, I thought I saw a place where I'm a son and I might be able to set up a little day camp kind of situation. I want to scout it out or bring him over here. I haven't been back here in a couple of years. And uh, there's only an hour and a half from my house. Something like that. Driving. As I said earlier, if you back road it is probably two miles, two and a half miles. So I'm gonna scout it out, see what it looks like. See if there's something we can do with it. I'll give you a few views while I'm walking it. As I say it look kind of pitiful now but I'm in Michigan. We're a couple of days from spring, so that hasn't even started yet. So it's dull looking. But that's, uh, that's late winter. That's always like that. This is off that trail that, I don't know, paved. It's like a circle. It just goes in, circles, and goes back out. I already see a couple ducks in the river here. I thought the river was pretty. But the water's moving pretty fast. Had a lot of a lot of snow this winter and pretty fast warm up. So it's a, uh, what you call it, high tide. I've seen it a lot lower than this. Back over there, behind that bend in the river, you can kind of see the shape of the buildings to that school I was talking about. And, uh, but this, this almost looks like you're out in the woods somewhere. This is not where we ultimately are going to camp. We'll probably find some spots that are, you know, a real park, camping park, uh, state park, county park, somewhere along those lines. But as I've said in other videos I'm just starting I've got a lot of skills to learn and uh, I need to practice so if I can practice close to home I think that's a good idea but uh, you can see signs of some people come out here trash and foot tracks and whatnot. But uh, once the leaves go out and fill in, you can barely tell people can come back here. I imagine the wildlife is 
fairly mundane. Probably a few deer back here. Every once in a while we get deer going through our city. They hide in cemeteries and things like that, but I'd be surprised to see one back here. But you never know. See what I can do to navigate around this here branch. Be back with you.